What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Jeff, the owner of RDR Gear in Salt Lake City, Utah. And if you don't know what to do at RDR, find a couple different ways. One, this YouTube channel. Like, share, and please subscribe. It helps him out and helps me out as well. And then our website, rdrgear.com, and of, of course, our Instagram and Facebook page. I post a lot of our products, one-off stuff, um, custom work that we do here on those page channels as well, so you guys can see what we do. And let's get to the review. That rhymed, you know that? Anyway, so the Atlas Athena. Now, I've owned a, quite a few 2011s. Um, you guys have seen them in the, in the prior videos, and I had not seen or touched or tinkered with an Athena pistol. Um, my good buddy Aaron here in town has this pistol. He owns this pistol. It's his primary shooting pistol. And my buddy Josh, who you'll see on the channel here in the very near future, um, always has something negative to say about the Staccato XC because he shoots quite a few of the Atlas pistols, um, three to be exact. So when I started looking at this pistol, I'm like, okay, I wasn't going to go buy one. They're $5,700 in the ballpark of $6,000. Aaron Count has a really good review on the Athena as well. But I wanted to share with you guys today um, why if you were going through the competition pistol phase, and that's one of the things I'm going to do with Josh and I are going to do, um, to share with you guys kind of the progressions, right? There's ways to progress through that market, uh, that space of competition shooting, a proper way that'll kind of help you in regards to investment and growing skill. And there's a way that's going to probably hurt your wallet and really kind of keep you stagnant in skill. The Athena is where it's at for someone who, if I was going to go back and really dive deep into USPSA three gun, this is where I'd be going. And I'll show you why. So a couple of things when I First, when you first grab the, the Atlas pistol, uh, Atlas Gun Works pistols, when you grab this gun, you instantly know what you're touching. Um, and if you have any knowledge of a 1911 or 2011 pistol, you understand when you grab this gun, you're at a very high tier of craftsmanship and design. When you hear Adam at Atlas say the best 2011 pistol on the planet, He's probably right. There's a lot of features in this pistol that make this gun the best production 2011 pistol you could probably buy right now. And you heard me say a lot of good things about my Atlas, or excuse me, my Alchemy and the Staccato and the Fowler, but when you touch this gun, there are a lot of things in this gun that those other guns do not have at all. And we're gonna go over some today. Um, I'll give you some specs real quick on this pistol because there is some scientific nerdy stuff that's on this pistol that does help a lot um, for you guys to know. First of all, it's on a 5-inch platform. It's a 4.6-inch barrel, so it's a shorter than a standard 2011. Uh, the weight without an SRO is 38 uh, ounces, and width is 39. Not a bunch there. Trigger is 2 pounds. And we're going to get into that because they ain't lying about the two pounds. Uh, rear sight is adjustable on the plate package, fiber optic front, um, maintenance schedule, 10,000 rounds, light rail, rail panels, and that's it. They do say that this gun is a competition slash duty use. Uh, I don't believe it should be duty, and I'm going to explain why. So let's talk about the grip. This here is not a pinned beaver, uh, pinned area or pinned safety. It has been removed completely. It is no longer there. So when you grab this pistol, man, this thing is fits in the hand like there's nobody's business. It is super comfortable to shoot and super comfortable to hold. The rail panels, or excuse me, grip panels right here, fill my right hand, the bottom inside of my palm, just fits perfectly. And then the way that safety drops, and that safety is positioned, gives me the perfect two-handed grip every single time. So the grip angle is what I feel really helps keep this pistol flat in my hand. The second thing is the grip panel. Third is my, probably the feature that I, on this pistol that I like the most, is the safety. All right, so the reason I love this safety so much is I'm gonna show you guys if I can get this angle here. So, staccato, right? If you notice 
my finger here, right? The finger on the safety right now is almost parallel to the top of the slide. Atlas, finger is pointing towards the sky, right? What happens is when you build the grip, as I say I come out of the holster, I would drop off safety, I come in to build my master grip, my right thumb needs to come over to my left, like so, so that way my left hand can come up high enough on the gun to complete my master grip. If I leave it on the safety in this position here, I I'm crowded, I can't get this left hand to touch the gun because I'm, I have a bunch of space in here. So what happens is, off safe, I come in, I then now have to flip this thumb over like so, and that gives me a very clean, firm grip. The Atlas pistol, with my thumb in that position, as I extend out, off safe, come in, the, no matter what, I'm not crowded by any means. That space, but you'll see my thumb is still going this direction. This whole section in here allows me to get two hands in here, and that is a wicked tight 27 grip. So now I can crank the shit of these bill drills and whatnot, no problem. If I'm shooting this one-handed, as I come off, I literally have everything I need to keep this gun from going nowhere. It, it is the, in my opinion, the best feature for me in regards to the way this thing is shaped, the way it's kind of flared out and sloped downward. There was a quite a bit of thought that went into this area on the pistol. This is the, some of the things that I understand why the pistol costs what it does. Because again, as I come in here, I'm off, bang, and that is a wicked tight grip in regards to this pistol. Right now, my left hand, you can kind of see that little indentation there. This little block, or I don't know if they call the name for this thing, but what happens now as I'm extending out, as I come in here, I'm pushing to off from the rear forward, and as I put that grip together, that thing can go nowhere. And when you look at the target today, this pistol, we joke about saying, oh, it shoots laser beams. This gun literally shoots laser beams. I was so impressed with how well this pistol ran. It feels like it's on pneumatic shocks. When you, it, it, it's, it's just so well sprung. Barrel is super tight. It, it is an amazingly built pistol. Um, let's talk about the trigger. Trigger spec is as two pounds, and they're not lying. Um, when I borrowed this pistol, I went to the range to kind of just tinker with it a little bit. And with a staccato or other 2011s, I can prep. I'm, I'm on the trigger all day. I can come back off and then I can do that, right? Or Atlas, god damn. If I, if I get on this trigger and I move this gun, it's going off, right? This trigger is, that's not a negative. That's just a very clean, very well built trigger. So when you get on that trigger, be ready for that shot to break because you're not gonna be doing a lot of prep with this trigger. That wall is right there. That, and that's ready to go. So the trigger, when they say two pounds, it is two pounds and it is a very, very clean, very easy resetting trigger. Man, and I think when you see the video today, um, it'll show. This pistol truly impressed me and really showed me what the possibilities are in a production level mid-tier 2011. This gun here at $5,700 is the pistol that if I had to go back in time, and the reason why I didn't buy one of these is because we needed these other guns to support the Safariland mods. Um, if I was shooting USPSA full time, and I was, or a three gun for that matter, and I was really shooting it full time, this is where I'd be at. I would not be in a staccato. It's just this here at $4,300 for what you get on this pistol is much different than what you get on this pistol at $5,700. You get every bit of $5,700, in my opinion, in this pistol. Uh, is that for everybody? Absolutely not. It is a price point that probably the majority of the country cannot get into. Some of us 
can. Um, some choose to, some will finance, some will sell off other guns to get to this price point. But at the end of the day, the Athena is the, in my opinion, if you are going to get into that competition shooting sports, you're going to hand load around. You're going to uh, train locally, train you know, nationally, travel to national matches or whatnot, really get into your local scene. I would go out and spend the money out the gate on this pistol, hands down. Uh, there is no question about it. Uh, the SRO option, great on this pistol. And the SRO option for duty use is even great on this pistol. I'm going to show you why. So when Staccato came out with their pistol, they partnered with Dawson to figure out how to build a sighting system that worked for Delta Point and RMR. I think that was where the downside was. They should have just stick with, went with RMR and called it a day. So if you notice on the Atlas, the mounting plate, the rear sight is about half as thick as anything else on the market. What that does is it pushed the SRO back on the pistol. Didn't let the front of the SRO hang over the ejection port. If you look at any other pistol, and that's the reason why when you guys ask me, hey, can my staccato take an SRO and a Sarfarland holster? The answer is no, because the dot is too far forward and obstructs and hits the AOS module in the holster, and that's the reason why it can't lock. So this is a one-off. So the reason I can't offer this on the website right now is because I don't have one of these to fit to this. Each staccato holster or 20 holster we offer is fitted and tuned to the actual pistol, whether that's a staccato, an alchemy, et cetera, right? The staccato and chambers pistols are very similar in slide dimension and length, so they can be done. This one here is very close to XC as well, but it's the final tuning that needs to be done that doesn't allow me to offer this on the website. So this is the this is my buddy Aaron's pistol, so he wanted a holster, and that is a SRO on a 2011 in a RDS duty holster. And you're good to go. And we're off safe, right? Reholster, you're good to go. SRO is in there, and that is set up. And the reason that fits, and the only reason that fits, is because of this sight system here. Al Al excuse me, Alchemy and Vulcan Gunworks have something similar, but for guns that they cut, right? Having this rear thinner sight will not work. If you look at Staccato, you'll see how much thicker the two sights are, right? So this thickness here pushes the dot farther forward. And if I lined up the end of the guns, and you'll see how far back the SRO sits, but if I lined them up evenly, and that was the cut, you could see how far forward the SRO would sit on a 2011 when it's cut with the Dawson sight. I would venture to say that by next year, you'll see a change from Staccato. So again, this is why, so when we get the holster done, there is a, an adjustment tuning to this holster. Now, this may change in the future. I may do a full video, a tutorial video on how to adjust the holster because it is, you can do it yourself. If you have the live pistol, I could easily show you how to do this. So we may change that. If you guys have questions or want this, you can DM us and ask me. Um, I can make the physical holster with a staccato host to fit the Atlas pistol. And again, it gives you that ability to come off safe. Now, the only thing is you have very close tolerances between the ALS and the safety. So there is no nub mod option here, but at the end of the day, you don't need it. But as soon as you get on the safe, on the ALS module here, guns off safe, all right? Um, and it's super clean lockup. So, but again, this would be for someone who wanted to use this pistol and this holster for say three gun, all right? Um, there are no holsters yet made for the 2011 style with red dot with out the light. They are all light bearings, unfortunately. That's the downside there. But at the end of the day, that is the first duty holster for a Atlas Athena with light and red dot. And this is for my buddy Aaron for his rig. But at the end of the day, that's something that can easily be done. So, man, this it's not that having the XC or the uh, Alchemy is a bad thing by any means. It's just 
when you look at a competition-driven, purpose-built pistol, this is it. This is where it's at. So um, at the end of the day, it's going to be come down to someone's wallet and whether or not they can get there. Because I get why the Staccatos are sold as much as they are. They have the mill discounts. They have the LE discounts. You can go to any gun shop and find one. But when you're breaking a $4,000 price tag with a plastic grip module and a plastic trigger, there's something to be said there. So that's something to really consider when you're getting in that market space. So again, that's just my two cents. But this is, I can't argue when Atlas says the best production 9 millimeter 2011 pistol on the planet. It is 100% the truth. This is the real deal in every aspect of this pistol, in the craftsmanship, the grip module, the panels, the safety, the trigger, the cuts, the weight, the length. It has a lot of science that drives this pistol to be the best production 9 mm 2011 out today. So if you got the money, you got the funds, don't hesitate. It's worth every penny. Um, I will have one this year at some point in time, but um, until then, I can stare at Aaron's gun and watch this video and dream. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, we post two, three videos every week on Gither Review, Gither Manufacturer, Gither Resell. Until next time, be well. Take care. Thank you.